Pretty good, man. Pretty good. John, I put my camera on you after the game, and you said, we expected this. How is that a different mentality with this program? How much have you guys turned a corner to expecting to win? How much does that define this team? Uh, we've been so close, and like just right there, like our losses is right there, and we know that we're good enough. We know that we can do it. And the mindset is every time we step on the field, we expect to win. It's not, oh, I hope. Oh, nah, we expect to win. We know we're a better team, physically, mentally, it's anything. We'll go Michael and then Justin. A handful for Martel. What was it like to play against your former school? Uh, it, was, it was nothing short of a blessing, man. I'm out there having fun. Football is football, you know. I played there when I come out of high school, and, and now I'm here. You know, it's just a part of my journey. So just to have a little full circle moment, have us going bowling, homecoming, white out. With my brothers, you know, it was it was just a great moment. It was a good moment. What position were you playing? What was that <laughs> defensive moment? I was playing Mike tonight. I was in the box a little bit. Uh, yeah, so just just whatever the coaches bring to me Sunday for the game plan, I buy in, you know, and that's kind of what our whole team does regardless. So, yeah. What's the kind of the strategy behind putting you in that in that position against their offense? Um, just... I don't even ask questions at this point. If I'm being honest, I trust my coaches top to bottom. Coach Nance and Akina, AVH, you know, everything that they're busting, busting their butt for day in and day out, you know, so whatever they bring to us, we buy them, make it happen, and we bring home dubs. So I love it. Justin and then Brian. Uh, so this is another defensive scheme that Johnny Nansen has introduced. What can you say about just the, the job that he's done this year, just all the different looks that you guys have thrown out? Nothing short of phenomenal. Um, just continuing to change things, you know, go with different schemes, everything. You know, he's got a great mind, and it's not just him. It's our whole staff, really, offense and defense. So um, it's it's fun to be a part of. I've known Coach Nansen since I was 18 at UCLA, so it's fun to see how he continues to grow as a coach and continues to stack Ws. And why do you think you guys collectively have been playing so well this year? Because we love each other. That's all. It's not It's not too much. And nothing to do with the ball. Um, we just we're just close. We we want it not only for ourselves but for our, our brothers. We all going after the same thing. So you know we on board together, and it's a day in day out grind, day in and day out. So that's why I think we're yielding the results that we have. And then Joey, what was it like going up against uh, UCLA's defensive front? A good front, move around a lot, um, but trust the process and our coaches. Like our goal, we going to attack them. They got the number one run defense or. Number one pressures, we're going to, we're going to attack them. We want the challenge. The, uh, the first drive of the second half, uh, you got a carry on second down. It was a short loss. It was third and six, and normally that's a passing down, and they hand the ball off to you and you get the eight yards. What does it say about the, the trust that <coughs> the coaches have in you and just the entire offense to, be, to get that in a, a place where it's only a one score game? Uh, we know we know, and whatever coach calls, we're going to execute the play. It don't matter the down and distance. Um, Coach called the run and, you know, hit the hole, and it was there. O-line got a push, and, you know, them yards after contact, that's just a mentality. How has the last month been for you guys? Obviously, being the three ranked teams, but the month, just the, the ascension you guys have had. I'll go first. I'll go. Um, it's, I would say it's, it just feels good. It feels amazing, you know, because it's not just like we've been working since, September since the season started or August, but this has been since January, since I got here. It's, this has been the mentality of the team, you know, so, and we don't worry about anything else other than what goes on inside the building. So to be able to be at this point, yeah, you know, we, we know we have more work to be done, but in this moment tonight, you know, it feels amazing. We're going to get back to the drawing board tomorrow, practice, full go, you know, so, but right now it feels amazing. This month has been amazing. We're just going to continue to trust the process because that's what's got to here. They pretty much touched on everything <laughs> right there, yeah. Jason and Troy. Yeah, Jonah, uh, your style of running has been a uh, bruising style. Do you embrace contact at all? I mean, where does your, your, your style of running come from? It's just a mentality. Like, make them play. Make them not want to tackle you. You know, you keep running somebody over and over and over and over again. They not going to want to keep coming back. Like, yes, <laughs> make them fold. <laughs> yes, sir. Literally, that's the mentality. <laughs> Troy and then Michael. One for both of you guys.
guys, Jonah. Uh, just can you talk about the offensive line and how they're able to kind of progress throughout the game tonight? Uh, it's part of the process. You know, not every play going to go how you want it. Um, you're not going to always execute every play, but um, it's all about how we finish. And I'm so proud of the offensive line, the team in general of how we finish. Like, we start fast and finish faster. And that's the mentality and the standard. So. For you, in terms of these last four weeks, what has been the identity of the defense? What do you think you guys have kind of gotten an identity over this last month? I mean, we've had an identity the whole year, defend every blade of grass. Every time you step on the field, just give you all. And that's all we can ask. And um, I feel like we're headed in the right direction, and we're going to continue to grow, continue to love on one another, continue to buy in. And we'll look up in December and tell you what the end result is. Uh, one for each for Martel. How big was that sequence after the block punt where I think they took over at the 31-yard line and you guys still held them without any points? Oh, yeah, I remember. Um, that was, I mean, I feel like the zone of the zoo, our team, our, our environment that we're playing in right now, it was, it was amazing. But at that point, I feel like the stands really got involved and we just kind of buckled down a little bit more strapped up. We know that it was a pivotal point in the game, as we feel every time we step on the field. You know, it's a pivotal point. Let's go make a play. So we just trusted our coaches, trusted the calls, got what we need to do, made the plays, and got all. Give the ball back to the offense. And for Jonah, um, I know you haven't been here quite as long as like, Jordan Morgan and Michael Wiley, but still I'm sure you know that Arizona hasn't been to a bowl game since 2017. What does it mean to you and the team to clinch a bowl berth? <laughs> Man, it means a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it means a lot. You know, I was a, a first. I was part of the first recruiting class of Coach Fish, and um, with, they were one in eleven. And all the <laughs> all the stuff I got talked about for coming here, committing here, or you could do better, you can do that. But I trusted the vision that Coach Fish had for us, and how hard we just worked and worked and worked, and no question asked, and how we keep fighting and coming back. Like. Man, we deserve it, but you know we're not done yet. That's just another checkpoint. We still got what four more games left, and but it feels good. We're gonna celebrate it, and then the next person, next team. Give that to. Do you have a question? Okay, Justin. Uh, but, but Jonah, when you committed, you were part of the first recruiting class. It was a, a tough sell to you. What was it about the vision that made you buy in at that time? Just the relationships, like every coach was talking to me. It wasn't just my position coach. The relationship that I built with Coach Graham was, it was like no other. And, you know, it's like that all around, you know, the facility. Defensive coaches talk to you, help you out. Like Coach Nash used to be a running back coach. I can go to Coach Nash and ask him, what do I need to work on? So everyone, you know, working on everyone and just relationship and trust in the process, you know, that's really it. Not only yourself, but others in that recruiting class have made impacts. Uh, what have you seen just from, you know, that recruiting class and what you guys have been able to do for the program? Dogs. <laughs> yeah, Dogs. I mean, we got some good guys in our class. You know, it's too many to name. Not gonna throw no names out there, but uh, trusting the coaches, development, player development. You know, you want to get developed into a pro and come to Arizona. That's our standard. Be a pro, and everyone has accepted that and bought in and. You know, make plays. <laughs> Sir, that's our time. Sir, appreciate you guys. God bless you. Thank you. Have a good night.